Join us for the iSchool Connect Study Abroad Fest from 16th to 18th July where we talk about some of the most important topics around studying abroad with top experts from all across the globe. Don't forget to register with the link below. This channel is what studying abroad dreams are made of. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel iSchool Connect. Like every week, we are back with some really interesting content all around overseas education. Now today I wanted to talk to you about an up and coming course that is extremely famous among students who have uh, a background in engineering and are planning to pursue a management degree. Today we will be talking about MEM, which is nothing but an engineering management course. So let's dive straight into it. If you can't decide if you want to pursue an MS or an MBA because you find both of them super interesting, here's a solution. Do your masters in engineering management. What is masters in engineering management? Well, a masters in engineering management is a program designed especially for those students who are interested in both technology and management. The degree is twofold. It provides students with knowledge about all the traditional and emerging technologies and also enables them to acquire leadership roles that focus on technology, like that of a chief tech officer or a project manager. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, it's important to understand the several details about MEM before talking about the possible job opportunities, which we will cover towards the end. What is the difference between an MEM and an MBA? Very important question. There are four major differences between an MEM and MBA. Let's start with eligibility. While an MBA degree can be pursued by graduates from any discipline, an MEM course requires you to have technical knowledge beforehand. Therefore, MEM programs are mainly for engineering, mathematics and science graduates. Next, let's talk about curriculum. The syllabus of an MBA course comprises of a variety of subjects including ethics, analytics, market research and sometimes even operations management. This is not the case with an MEM where students can learn not only about general subjects taught in an MBA but also cover subjects like system architecture, risk operation analysis, development management and so much more. Next, let's talk about tuition. The average range of tuition fees for an MBA is higher than that of an MEM degree. In terms of job opportunities, since a master's in engineering management program is tailor-made for STEM students and has an entirely different curriculum as compared to an MBA course, it naturally follows that the kind of job opportunities you get after graduation will be different for both of these courses. So if you are an engineering student interested in technology leadership, industrial management, R&D management or tech entrepreneurship, MEM is the course for you. Subjects covered under MEM courses, well, as we've discussed already, the curriculum for Masters in Engineering Management courses is quite different from other management courses. It focuses on a bunch of engineering aspects uh, such as engineering, maths, technology and management. But exactly what kind of subjects will you be studying in college? Well, here's the uh, entire list. Take a look at a couple of these subjects. Uh, these are pretty much what you will be covering uh, while you are studying MEM at school. It is important to note that even though there's a lot of theory you might have to study, MEM programs make internships compulsory. You get hands-on practical experience and opportunities to grow by implementing what you have learned in the classroom. Another benefit of such opportunities is that it gives you a chance to establish yourself and grow your network. But how long do you have to do that? The duration of the degree is also an important factor to remember. A master's in engineering management can be pursued in many ways. You can attend your lectures on campus full time. Such courses last anywhere around 12 to 24 months and often include an internship as part of the curriculum. You can attend your lectures on campus part time. Such courses will definitely last longer than a full time course and might take double the time, depending on your speed. That doesn't mean that you don't get to do an internship. Online distance learning courses are also an option. Online courses are a short duration as compared to the other two options. 
but you would end up missing out on the classroom experience but the subjects you study will remain the same is the best to weigh the pros and cons of both of these or rather all three of these options and choose the one that best suits your profile and your current requirement next let's quickly glance over some of the top universities for mem you now know what you'll be studying while pursuing an mem and what all you will have in terms of the course curriculum but that should not be the sole factor when you are shortlisting universities so keeping various parameters in mind we've put together a list of universities and colleges which you should be considering if you are planning to pursue an mem here's all of those different institutes on the screen uh, that you can go ahead and check out on our platform i school connect i'll make sure that uh, the details to the platform and the links to all of these institutions at least most of them uh, would be clearly mentioned uh, in the description area Now moving on to one of the most important questions about MEM that you might have and that is the cost of studying MEM. The overall range for a master's in engineering management is around $29,460 to $70,920. And to that of course you will add the various other miscellaneous expenses such as cost of living, food, transportation uh, and so many other things which any student would incur while they are studying. Next let's talk about job opportunities. Um so when it comes to job opportunities after graduation, after you complete your degree in MEM, an infinite number of opportunity windows will open for you. You could be so many different things, but here are a few of them. You could be a project manager, an operations manager, system analyst, technical manager. Now, if you're wondering what your average salary would be, we're looking at anywhere around $65,000 to $90,000 per annum. Now, finally, to get everything started, if you're wondering how you can apply for a master's in engineering management, apart from all the other basic requirements that you would have to have if you're looking for those basic application requirements you can head over to the blog uh, of this particular uh, on this particular topic uh, i'll again mention it in the description you can look at the entire checklist but there are two additional requirements that i thought uh, you should know about and that is you should have a work experience of anywhere between 2 to 5 years or maybe even more and you should have a knowledge of the subjects that you are planning to pursue these are a few things uh, that are uh, you know that are added requirements when it comes to mem of course uh, heading over to the eligibility section um, of the certain university and the course that you're looking at uh, applying to will obviously make things a lot more clearer for you i know this is a new course and a lot of you are still trying to figure out uh, a lot of things about mem so i'm sure for all the questions that you have we'll have um, answers to most of them so make sure you share your queries you share your suggestions in the comment section and we'll be quick and prompt to answer all of them if you are looking for uh, international education assistance you're planning to study abroad and you're looking for assistance for that Uh, make sure to reach out to us on iSchoolConnect.com. We share lots of interesting content around studying abroad right here. So make sure you subscribe to us and give this video a thumbs up if you learn something new. Until next time, this is Malvika signing off. Please take care. Bye bye.